What's up, my name is Spencer, and in this video, we're gonna be taking a look at how to mask and blur subjects and people and other things, and also how to track them so they stay with the face. I'm gonna be editing in Adobe Premiere and After Effects, but the premises in the video are the exact same if you're using uh, a different editor. So let's just get right into it. So once you have your footage, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is put an adjustment layer over your footage, and then we're gonna blur out the face. So I've already made a preset, which you can download for free in the description, and or you can make your own. It's basically uh, just a little bit of blur and then a mosaic filter. And then from there, I'm gonna take the opacity of the entire adjustment layer and just hit that oval and just basically make a mask around her face. Um, sometimes it's easier if you drop your opacity of the whole adjustment layer down to 50 so you can see uh, through it. Just kind of get the rough outline. So once you have your mask all set, um, the next step is to manually track it to, in this case it's a face, but whatever object you're trying to blur out. So to start tracking, hit the stopwatch on the mask path and that'll set a keyframe. And now wherever you go and move your mask, it'll create a new keyframe. Just a quick note, if you hover your mouse above the edges, you can rotate the mask and that will help you change your mask path. Okay, let's give this a watch. Uh, bump the opacity of adjustment layer back to 100 and let's watch it back. Okay, cool. I think that looks fine for what we would use it for. There's not a lot of movement in this shot, so manually tracking it is actually pretty easy. But when you get to an example like something like this, I'll just duplicate it so you can see the original movement. So this girl has a lot more movement to her and you can see I've gone through and already manually tracked, but look how many keyframes there are. It took me a little bit of time to go through and keyframe that. So I, th I would say this is too much work to do in Premiere and too much work to do by hand. And this is something that I would normally take over to After Effects. So I'm gonna show you that now. Okay, so I've opened an After Effects project and I just have a clip of a woman walking forward here. And uh, I've already set up a few things. So there's a null object as a tracker and then I have the face blur layer already set up. It's just an adjustment layer with a blur and another mosaic effect on it. So instead of doing a manual track, we're gonna make After Effects do the work. So we're just gonna track this motion and I'm actually going to set up a track for um, the rotation and the scale of this clip. So the face blur effect will grow and rotate as uh, she walks. So we'll set up the rotation. Maybe we'll do it uh, on her ear here and scale. All right, let's hope for the best for this track. Okay, so for the most part, that track was okay. So I'm just gonna edit the target, make it to the null object and apply. Okay, so now that we have our tracking data on the null object. All we're gonna do is unhide our face blur layer and we're gonna give it a mask. I'm gonna do pretty much the same thing here as I did in Premiere, except this time I'm gonna be a little bit more detailed because we're not gonna to have to edit the mask as much. Okay, I'm just gonna feather out my mask a little bit. Just press F on the keyboard there. Turn that up to 10. And before we move on, I'm just gonna parent this mask layer to the tracker so it moves with the tracker. So this is a pretty good result for, I would say, pretty minimal work. Um, and this is a good workflow if there's, uh, you know, people moving around in the shot like this, there's multiple people in the shot, or you just have a large quantity of things to take out. Yeah, if you're going to protest and stuff, this is definitely a workflow and an effect that you should be taking advantage of to keep everybody safe. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. And if you want to see more stuff like this, hit that subscribe button.